everybody, it's Honest John again. Does anybody know what Drapetomania is? I doubt it. It is the name of a fake mental illness that was concocted by a quack doctor in 1851. Drapetomania was the desire of slaves to escape to freedom. This doctor thought that the natural order of things was for slaves to be submissive and to embrace their bondage. Therefore, any slave who wanted freedom was mentally ill. It's an example of how human beings can dehumanize each other to the point that what is, would be normal is seen as an illness. This physician, quote unquote, thought that a black man or a black person was so different from a white person that he would not have the same feelings. This is how normal, normal human beings become, normal human feelings become mental disorders. Don't forget, it wasn't that long ago that homosexuality was classified as a mental illness in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, so that all kinds of psychiatrists and psychologists thought that it was a mental illness. And it is only recently that trans people stopped being considered mentally ill. They had what was called a, a gender identity disorder. The idea was that a person's genitals, if a person's genitals did not match their gender identity, the problem was in the person's brain. Now we know that this is more common than we thought it was, and that the disorder doesn't necessarily lie in the mind, but in the body. But if you want to think about dehumanization, let's take a look at the immigration controversy. What Trump has succeeded in doing is dehumanizing these people to the point that he has many Americans convinced that there is something wrong with them. Now, I'm not making an argument that we can take in everyone who wants to come here. That's just not possible. But the, but the desire to escape from poverty, oppression, war, or physical danger is not an aberration. There's nothing wrong with it. It's normal. If we were in that same situation, we would think and feel exactly the same way. And we would do the exact same things that these people are doing. But there are a whole lot of people who see them as something less than human and who see the casual cruelty that the Trump administration exerts toward these people and they think that it's okay. They think that it's the right thing to do. Separating children from their parents and locking them in cages. That's fine. Physically, mentally, and even sexually abusing these children it's not a problem. There are people who applaud that. This, the truth is that the immigrants and the refugees, whatever else you might think about them, are acting normally. They're trying to get away from a bad situation. The ones with the mental illness are the ones who see this cruelty and think that's okay. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But 
there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.